Hey all, this is Anjali and in this video, I'm going to solve question number 4 of Computer Science Exam 2017. So this is the same paper for which we've solved question number 1, 2 and 3. And now in this video, we'll be solving question number 4. As uh, I should tell you, question number 4 is from file handling. So data file handling is the chapter from where all three parts of this question are formed. And this question's total weightage is 6 marks. Every year is the same. It comes by 6 marks, carries 3 questions, 1 mark, 2 mark, 3 mark. So generally the question, uh, the programs are for 3 and 2 marks. And for 1 mark we get a fill in the blank question. So let's read the questions. So we have a part in this which says Paulina Raj has used a text editing software to type some text in an article. After saving the article as mynotes.txt, she realized that she has wrongly typed alphabet K in place of alphabet C everywhere in the article. Write a function definition for pure text in C++ that would display the corrected version of the entire article of the file mynotes.txt with all the alphabets K to be displayed as an alphabet C on the screen. Note, assuming that mynotes.txt does not contain any C alphabet otherwise. Okay. Example, if Paulina has stored the following content, so everywhere, wherever we have K, like I own a cute little car, so this K should be changed with C, and we're assuming that we don't have any K other than this. So we just need to read from the file. It's a text file, so we have to read from the text file. And what we have to do is, we have to convert the K letter to C and show it. So the name of the function is pure text. That's it. Pure text. And inside this, we're supposed to write the code. So what we have to do is when you have to work with files in this, so first we have to see for what purpose we have to open the file. We have to read from the file. So I can take a file pointer or the object for if stream. So if stream is input file stream and whatever name you can give to the object of that, whatever name you want, like I can give fp, fa, fd or just f. So whatever you want, so let's say I give f, if stream f and then you have to open a file. So for that we call the function open. We write f.open, name of the file given is my notes.txt so by default the file is opened in read mode because we have given if stream but it's quite possible that the file might not exist so we can check over here if f dot fail so fail is a function which checks if the operation of opening the file failed failed means we could not open the file so we should just print the message that can't open file but if the file could be opened we have to read the characters from there so for that we are going to write the main code in else so what we are going to write in else is we should have a character ch and i have to read in that but till when do i have to read i don't know how many characters are there in the file so you always have the same loop whenever you read from a text file you have to read through this one that is while not f dot end of file that means till i don't get the end of file character what i have to do is i have to read one character at a time for that we can call the function f dot get so ch is equal to f dot get reads one character at a time and then we check we check that if ch is equal to k then ch should be changed to c and now whatever the letter is in ch that should be printed on the screen and then close the bracket for the loop close the bracket for the else and finally we should close the file so for that we call the close function and we close the whole function the function named as pure text so we close the bracket for that over here so the main code is this that you've taken a character variable then we put a loop till we reach to the end of file it will repeat this thing 
and what it's going to repeat is ch is equal to f dot get so it reads a character which comes in ch then it checks if ch is equal to k k then it changes to c so if ch is equal to letter k it changes to the letter c and we print the thing so if it's true it will be changed if it is false nothing will be changed and whatever letter is that will be printed out over here so we'll keep on executing and we'll print all the letters like this changing k to c and this question gives you three marks for this simple so this is the question for text files another program you get is for binary files now we get to write for binary file and this question is over here it says write definition for function count picks in c++ to read each object of a binary file photos.dat find and display the total number of photos of type portrait assume that the file photos.dat is created with the help of objects of class photos which is defined below so we have this class photos which has p code photo type whether it is portrait or nature then there is a function enter which reads the values there is a function show which shows the values and there is a function get type which returns the type of the photo means whether it is portrait or nature then you have to write the code for count picks okay let's start with it so we write void name of the function is count picks then we should start the code now here i have to search so basically i have to read from the file but it's a binary file so it's better to take your object of type f stream so i take it of f stream then i need an object of the class photos so we take an object p for photos then we have to open the file so we write f dot open name of the file is photos.dat photos.dat the file should be opened in input mode so we write ios in then or ios scope resolution binary because your file could be in input mode and it should be a binary file so we write ios in or ios binary so we open the file over here also there is a possibility that file may not exist so we must check if f dot fail so we can print like c out can't open file else we are going to write the main code so else we are going to write the code and what do we want in that code is we want to count that how many of the photos are portrait now here when you have to read from a binary file like in case of a text file we just check whether or not end of file but when you use binary file we have an advantage of this that we have a function read the purpose of read function is to read one object at a time from the file so it reads one object from the file along with that it also gives me true or false that is one or zero if it reads a valid object it gives me one but if the file is over there are no more objects it gives me zero so we can use that if it gives true means the loop should work if it gives false the loop should not work so it should work till it's giving one that is it's reading an object we have to read the object in p and we have to tell how many bytes are to be read that is size of so while f dot read cast r m present p comma size of p what i'm supposed to check here is i'm supposed to check if the type is portrait or not so for comparing this i need to use string compare function and i have to call the function named get type so i'll call p dot get type comma i need to check whether it is portrait if this thing gives zero that means if string compare gives zero by comparing the get type and the portrait that means get type is portrait it is portrait so we have to increase the count but we haven't taken a variable so we need to take a variable for count which should be initially zero and if this condition is true count should become plus plus so it should increase by one and then we close the loop after coming out of the loop i can print the count that will tell me how many pictures were there of portrait type so this code was in 
else finally we close the file and we close the function so this is the code where we read from the binary file the code almost remains the same always you have to take an object of file you have to take an object of class you have to open the file you have to check for fail then usually it's one or the other condition to count or something like that then we always put a loop like this and then depending upon the question we check a condition over here and whatever condition is checked accordingly either you have to print the object or you just need to count like in this example we just needed to count so we did count plus plus otherwise we could have called like p dot showcase to show the values of that particular photo but we just had to count so we wrote this so it depends question to question but the basic format of the answer is always same so that's the question on binary files and it comes like this every year the pattern remains the same then you get one question for one mark which is a long code but generally you have to fill in the blank over here so it is a code where we need to fill in the blank let's see what the question says find the output of the following c++ code okay here you don't have to fill in the blank it's to find the output but it's for one mark find the output of the following c++ code considering that the binary file clients.dat exists on the hard disk with a data of 200 clients okay so i have 200 clients over here class clients is given which takes in c code char c name of size 20 so two bytes are required for this integer 20 for the name that means 22 bytes are needed for one client okay let's go ahead then comes function main f stream file we've taken an object of f stream file dot open okay file is opened then we have taken an object of client C. Okay. Then it writes file dot CG 6 into size of C. Now size of C is 22. 22 into 6. That is 132. So it moves to that location. It moves to that location. Then file dot read. Cast our address of C size of C. So it will read that record in the object c that would be your seventh object in the file because the first object is at address 0 the second one will be at 22 third one will be at 44 and similarly seventh one will be at 132 so it reads the seventh record and it will show the values but it's not showing the values what it is showing is client number client number file dot tell g now when file dot tell g works now so it has reached to it was at 132 since one record has been read as file.read works the get pointer moves automatically ahead it was at 132 one record is read since one record is read it moves to 144 so file.tell g over here will give us 144 divided by size of c which is 22 so 144 divided by 22 will give 7. Yeah, that gives us 7 plus 1 gives us 8. So the output of this question would be till now. This is C part. So it will show client number 8. Then file.seek.g 0 comma ios end so 0 comma ios end will go to the last record and then out of so it will show off file.telg divided by size of c as in the question it was told that we have 200 clients 200 clients means that you have 200 records in the file so this thing will also move the file pointer to the end of the file and when i divide it by 22 i should get 200 so it will show clients number 8 of 220 200 or 220 whatever is mentioned here so how many clients we have we have 200 clients so it should be if it's 200 clients so it's 8 of 200 yeah, it's 8 of 200. So output is client number 8 of 200. So this code basically got the output, but if it comes for fill up, then also 
the major thing is seek g tell g seek p functions which comes for this one mark thing so seek g is a function which is used to move the get pointer to a specific position tell g is a function which tells where the get pointer is similarly seek p is used to move the put pointer to a specific position in the file and tell p tells where the put pointer is so that's how we work with data file handling and it always comes for six marks in your board exam and it always has three questions one related to binary files one related to text files and one fill up related to cg cp tell g tell p functions that's your question number four hope you understood if yes do like the video share it and do subscribe the channel and in case you have any doubts related to file handling do write in the comment section and i'll get back to you with the solutions as soon as possible for me till then keep watching